Yo, oh, man. Look. First and foremost, man, shout out to the homie, man. Can men be gold diggers? How y'all feel about this? Let's see. Are men gold show. diggers? The bum ones, yes. Mm. Like, some men be leeches, like gold diggers. They only f with you. Oh, she got a car. I'm taking her car. Like, she got a crib. I'm in there every day. Yeah. All right. All right, baby. All right. Ooh, got that seat far up. You know I'm sure. Okay. Uh, all right, baby. I got to get going. I'm a situational gold digger because long term, I'm not gold digging. But in the situation, I might just gold digging that moment. You know what I mean? Like, City ball. City boy! Listen, if a man is a gold digger, he's not a man. Oh. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. What do you say to that? If a man is a gold digger, he's not a man. So what is a woman if she's a gold digger? She's not a woman? I'm just like off the logic. I'm just trying to understand. It's not no comparison. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of the logic here. I agree. I agree. Here he is. You are a gold digging ass nigga. Is all you can provide is dick. You can't provide shit. It was like all mm. I have in this world is my balls and my word. You stay with this bitch. You mom. drive her a car. She feeds you. Yo, wait, what side you on? You on for the? Oh, you on the side for the guys or the girls? No, I just feel like as a nigga, like we need to be the ones up. Like we don't need to need these hoes for shit. Ah. You know what I'm saying? But that's yo. Real nigga shit, yo, stand up, my nigga stands and told, nigga standing on business, man. You gotta stand on some business. Can't be no lame ass, leech ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, bro. Gotta be a man. Most Respect of these that. niggas depend on these bitches for everything. Nah, oh, we just why women, uh, women, can't, women. Nigga. Ah. <laughs> Sucker free nigga, I'm P. <laughs> Stupid ass pork nigga. <laughs> women, said, women. Nah, for real though. Come on, you guys know I was just kidding. Nah, nah. Are nah. men gold diggers? She's fire. Basking in wild divinity right here. I don't. It's something about dreadhead women and like piercings and jewelry that just gives me earthy. Like she got a plant in the crib. She smoke. She smoke a spliff. She like that sage. A couple of incense around the spot. You know what I'm saying? Real. You know what I'm saying? Frequency. Frequency. You know what I mean? Word. Whatever that was. Yes, niggas. Yo, niggas will sit there in front of you. Quit your... She got gold. She got goals in the mouth? Job. Quit their job not I tell oh. you. And be like, yeah, babe, I quit my job for my mental. Nigga, where's the money at? We you know what I've been doing for the last two half months for money? Mm. Huh? I've been fucking. Oh. Word? I'm fucking hella bitches. For British? Good dick is hard to find. Are uh, men gold diggers? Fabrice, why is son sweating like he just ran three marathons? What the fuck? Con Yo, get this nigga a bev in a towel. This nigga just came off the stage of a little Yachty concert. My nigga, chill out, boy. Yes. <laughs> Explain. They don't say it. I'm sorry, I got a rat, because uh, I'm sorry, bros. I'm, so I'm sorry, bros. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I got a rat. The ladies been calling some of y'all hobosexuals. Hobo, hobosexuals? Niggas is hobos now? Niggas not even bums? They hobos? What? Nah, that's tough. That's that's a hard... Yo, y'all doing bad. They made a term for y'all. Y'all doing bad. I can't stop, my nigga. That's bad yeah, work. I've been saying this for a good two years now. Oh, Some you know about this. women in Section 8, and that ain't right. Say it again. Some of y'all been using women in Section Eight, and that ain't right. And y'all, y'all been opening y'all doors to him, knowing he a homosexual, and talking about, can I curse on here? Yeah, you can. They did good. That's the main line. Y'all wrong. I had zero respect for myself back then. So they kind of did it themselves. Stop opening your door for homosexuals. Yes, they can be gold diggers. Yes. I'm. A I'm appalled, my nigga. I didn't know homosexual was even the terminology. You telling me y'all bestowed y'all besmirched niggas' names? Niggas beings and you're not a man, you're a hobosexual now. Holy shit, y'all niggas is doing bad, bro. I need y'all niggas to stand on business and stand the fuck up, bro. Hobosexuals? Niggas said I've been saying this for two years. It's 2023, this been going on? I ain't know they had a name for y'all niggas, it's different. 
Niggas can call y'all some random shit, but putting a name on it is crazy, my nigga. Do better. I said, oh, mango diggers. Oh, mango diggers. Men be gold diggers. Stop listening. I'm a nurse type shit. Niggas all. I heard the nurses be cheating too. But y'all fire. I ain't gonna lie. The nurses is fine as hell. Y'all fire. Always want my bread. And I always say, nah, nigga. But. Stop the cap. <laughs> Definitely be trash. <laughs> Definitely be trash. You be getting that blue shit. Hell no. Yo, you wanna get me none? You got money, right? Hold on. I'm broke, baby. I ain't got no money. Okay, so. I got money. He got money. What's up? Ah. I mean, yeah. Hell so, yeah. I was about to say that, shorty, shorty. Hell yeah. No. It's crazy. And I'll wait now. Because it's really. Yo, this nigga look like the. Nah, pause. I can't even say that. The nigga look like. What's that? That. that... <laughs> the Mr. Meaty nigga right here. Pause. Yo, I swear to. Yo. Go look up the cartoon. It's the niggas with the puppets. He look like the nigga behind the. Chill, he going. If I ever get on this, nigga, they gonna see this clip. Like a I fuck, yo, shorty, I fuck with you. Shorty, shorty, I fuck with you. Chill. It's just, damn, my nigga, damn. Thank. What you mean? Huh? Like, like you? How? How could you be a? This nigga, huh? Gold digger. I never seen a a a niggas a be bitch with money. I have never seen a bad bitch with money take a nigga that's broke. He's out of line, but he's right. Yeah, that's the same. Not wasn't the same <laughs> shit, but. Yeah, I get now. Nah, he's a fact. I just was talking to the shorty about this last night. Off topic, real quick. I was explaining to him. I'm like, yo, women that usually make a certain amount of money or like a percentage of women that's like high tier or whatever, like as far as earnings, is a very small few of them that, and I say very small, I want to say no, under the one percentile that a date down. And and from niggas that make a lot of money, they don't really necessarily claim it dating down because they'll take a woman that work at McDonald's and you feel me? And fuck with them. Versus a woman that feel like they've climbed the ladder to success or got to where they deem is successful and now they feel like they need somebody to at least match that and be above that. Because anything lower than that, whether it be as, as far as earnings, is would be a shot to them and then that would be considered dating down. I don't agree, but... When you dating, you date like is your preference is what it is. But I just don't agree that we should call it dating down. Because when men do it, it's not dating down; it's just dating. Versus, and then again, it's more women than it is men. So the likelihood, the the percentage of men that also make as much or make more is a small percent. Small is in the small bracket, like you know, small percentile. So the likelihood that he's gonna be faithful and all these other different things you gotta think because he's a it's scarce for this kind of nigga with these kind of niggas, you know what I'm saying? So they gonna be dibbling, dabbling, whatever, cause they can do that. You know what I mean? So take that into account too, ladies. All I'm saying. The niggas that be posting, no, the niggas that be posting about oh bitches is broke, bitches is this, is the biggest gold diggers. Them niggas don't have is, no money. My thing is, how you got enough time to talk about bitches on IG all day? That means you don't got no fucking job. Niggas got 50 cent in their fucking account. They going tough. 50 fucking cents. But you sit on IG talk about what Oh, the duo is crazy. This is a bad... Yo. I ain't gonna lie. This is some back-to-back -back shit. Like, bar for bar right now. Who these niggas is on the song? Like, this is like Lil Herb and, and, and Lil Bibby back in like 20, 2012. <laughs> these niggas going crazy. <laughs> Do all day talking about oh my oh. god, bitches broke, bitches is this. Oh my god, where you at? Oh my god, bitches talk about my you know fucking name, my booty brown. You're yo, brown. they going hard right now. I ain't gonna lie, this is definitely from experience. Shorty Vane is busting out the side of her mata right now. She's perplexed. Vane on the side of her neck going crazy. So Wait, what about what? it? What, what about fuck? it? What about I'm it? telling you, you just signed oh. up for the meanest duo. Why the fuck did this nigga? I thought this nigga was gilly for two seconds. Thought this nigga was dead gilly for two seconds. Who's this nigga? How so? Some. Because oh, there's a lot of men Mr. out there Grand that just, you know what I'm saying, don't want to, you know what I'm saying, go out there and get it for their own. They out there and, you know, I wouldn't say gold diggers because they handymen. A lot of men that's good at things with their hands and their mouth. Pause. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. what I mean, the not, fuck? Other yeah. yeah. parts of their body, pause. That's crazy. They that right was now, right nuts. Now, when it's pause. Coming, so look out for all the men gold diggers. They're, they're, they're not digging for gold. They're, they're, looking, they're looking This for nigga is state. back in 03 with that big ass t-shirt on. Fresh out of the corner store. Out of here. You got to find somewhere to live. You can't stay here no more. The homosexuals. Yes. Men are gold diggers. Mm. They're like, they'll be around the 
the bitches that's lit or whatever the trying to like slow. find who they are wow through they bitch so what's the problem man you feel what i'm saying or through bitches and if your bitch is having sometimes the niggas be like living off they bitch kick back relax and spend her dough man maybe living off you i don't know do i look like i take care of niggas uh, is that rhetorical or no no that was the dead ass serious do i look like i take care of niggas I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. yeah nah, if a nigga... My nigga, who the f... I thought this was... That nigga looked like Lil Durk and Rowdy Rich Mix. Who is this nigga, B? This nigga look like two niggas. <laughs> two niggas bring three niggas and three niggas bring four. <laughs> Let me tell. Like, he a hoe. Like, you a hoe ass nigga. So, 50. Yeah. Right, yeah, make sure you tip on two, boo. Why you want to bitch money? Like, why you ain't got your own pay? Bro, you know, some guys... They I ain't even on style. And I don't know if it's due to society or just my upbringing. Like, I be now... It be women now that be wanting to buy me shit. First of all, I don't buy me shit, bitch. Oh, my fault. My fault. I'm wildin'. No, 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 no. Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Chill, 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 chill. I'm wildin' right now. But look, listen, hear me out. It be kind of a little... Like, I be kind of weirded out a little bit when, when like, women want to buy shit for me. Whether it be food or gift or whatever. Because it's like, I'm used to having to be, like, the nigga to pay for shit. And that's just... As a nigga, that's just the role you kind of take on. There's nothing really you can do about it. But now I'm starting to try to learn how to accept gifts from women. Well, just people in general. I ain't going to just say women. But, like, it's even weirder when it comes from women. It's like, damn, like, what you mean you want to pay for my tires? What you mean you want to pay for my haircut? Like, and that's little... That may be little shit, too. Because haircut for a nigga is like, tw well, at least for me, like $20. Fucking um, tires, brand new all four sets, some good shits for me, 300 And my car not cheap. Like, I ain't even going to feel me, but it's just the gesture. Like, oh, yeah, like, I want to pay for us on a trip. That is probably the by far of a bitch pay for my, I had a shorty tell me that. And if she paid for us to go on a trip, I ain't going to lie, I'm going to vlog the whole shit, boy. In my my alley young and on hey uh hey uh hey. nah 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 but nah that's that shit is is, is kind of tough like oh even a date man like it's cool though cause like now yo bro let's keep it a bean you need two incomes this is not back in the seventies and eighties my nigga you just need one income son can work two jobs take care of like eight kids plus wifey nigga times is hard. Bring them incomes together, my nigga. By all means. That nigga's Yo, tripping. But don't be abusing, my nigga. That's the one thing y'all can't be doing. Don't be abusing the joints. You feel me? Barking on the joints, all that. Nah, y'all niggas wild. And they don't want to be that. They like leeching off of girls because they got yeah, girls, girls be getting to it. You shouldn't leech off of nobody. He's a bitch. Oh. All natural Faye sour cream. Faye. So rich. <laughs> so creamy. So good. Ooh. <laughs> Next question is Are men gold diggers? Sometimes How? My ex was a gold digger Fuck that nigga So you were tricking on him a lot No I'm doing me Period no, you, She don't get the Yeah it's cap So it's like I seen a nigga I seen I seen a nigga with bread Get a broke ass bad bitch though it was you. Man, the baddies, I got the money. They work a nine to five. Man, I ain't trying to so, hear that. You, you heard me though, right? <laughs> <laughs> For real, on me, on me. Come on, you gotta keep it real. You gotta keep it real. You gotta keep it. Real. Men can be gold diggers, but it won't be seen by the public as gold diggers. Wow. Like when you got old. Well, I feel like this nigga about to start talking some shit right now. White women that be one these young black guys. For oh, oh, that's different. Like that's that. different. That's, that's for the culture. Reparations. You may have this girl doing everything for you and all you can provide is dick. My nigga, you are of mm. no value. I realize it's just a lot of hating ass nigga in this world and I'm one of them. Mm. You're a gold digger. Mm. Mm. I've never had a woman do all everything for me, but that's... That's some motherly shit. I be feeling like women be doing shit like that on purpose. They'll go for the bums. Cause or like they'll possibly see potential. Don't get me wrong, they'll possibly see potential, but they'll go for the bums so they could like nurture and do all these things for them. So then later on down the line, I could be wrong, but later on down the line, when shit don't work out, they could just hit them with the I did this for all these uh, all this uh and I wanna I don't wanna say that. Fuck it, I'ma say it. That's as far as their potential goes. And what I mean by that is 
the joints will do this. We'll see a bum ass. They know he's a bum ass nigga, but possibly have potential because everybody got potential. They'll stick it out and duke it out with him because he doesn't challenge them in the way that they they help like they need in a real relationship. So while they doing all this and they feel me going through all these trials and tribulations, when they once they come across a real man, they shut down. I could be wrong, but I think that happens often. They shut down because it's like now the now the real man is holding them to a standard and they can't keep up because they hit them with the truck. Like you know, like they they can bring all those combative issues from the last relationship into the new one, and then now they they button heads because the new nigga's like, yo, bro, that was the past. Like I need you to be here now. Like. That was your old nigga. I'm not him. Ah, uh, and they on some shit like, well, like I had to go through this, I had to do this, and they on some independent shit. But this ain't the time for that. You know what I mean? And that shit don't work out. Could be rambling. Could be. Mm -hmm. What's good, son? You're tripping right now. I'm over here making content, baby. I'm making, I'm, you feel me? I'm making, I'm making, I'm making content right now. Also, that's that mother. That's that motherly instinct in them too, like to to nurture. Like most women are just nurturers by like, by like by birth, bro. Right? Like if you was raised right, you automatic like as a woman, you're automatically a nurturer to some to some capacity at least. So I don't know. They see like a stray cat. It's like seeing a stray cat or a stray dog. Like you just want to help. You don't know what the dog been through. They may bite, but you know what I'm saying. And until then, you'll do whatever. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Literally, like you're a fucking gold digger. You can't even stand on your own. Like you can't stand on your own ten toes. Like yeah, stand on business, nigga. Say, hey, bro. Who the hell is this? I'm the type of nigga stand on business, nigga. One man arm against fifty, nigga. What you gonna do that? I stand oh, on business, nigga. What you do? Hey, hey a bitch. Man. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, how? Break it down to us. If they a bitch, chopper, yeah. cry dick, they a mommy's boy, don't got no job, no car, don't know how to use their money. They children. Mama's boy, chapter seven. That's you. Not a mama's boy. So, are men gold diggers? Gold diggers? Are men gold diggers? I've been, yo, Urban Dictionary, this word, it's called. This nigga's in the back wilding with the hoop. Called, uh, um, honey dicking. What? Honey dicking. Pause. I'm not looking shit up, my nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I ain't looking none of that up. Honey dicking. Honey dicking hey, is whenever, and it could go that's for both ways. Yo, that's that's like, like, man, man, mostly that men be honey dicking, cause it's like honey dicking is basically whenever you sell a dream to somebody. Like yo, I got a good job, I got an apartment to myself, I got a whip okay. I can pick you up in, okay. and like you just selling a dream to someone. Like yo, I can treat you good. And just say selling a dream, bro. All that other extra, like words and shit. It's just bad verbiage, my nigga. I don't never want to hear you say no dumb shit like that. Like never use that word again. That sentence. That's Syllable, the, the contact part, my fault. Oh, don't, I don't want to ever hear you say that shit again. But, It'd be like that yeah, yeah, but like that's how men be having to move because shorties be looking only for money. Could you answer the question? You spinning <laughs> the question, bro. Are <laughs> men go niggas? Yeah, I feel like nigga wanted to just say honey, like honey, honey pause, honey blank. Like the nigga just wanted to say that. Like, what the fuck? Fuck, nigga just say he wanted to sell a dream or whatever. And then after you said what you said. Historically, right? The plan has She's been for smack. a lot of cultures that men take care of the women and Facts. take care of the children. Okay. Of course, times have changed. So sometimes women make more than the men. Which but that cool. does not mean go out and cheat on them. That means that they're trying to hold down the household. <laughs> but are men gold diggers? Are hey, men? I'm broke. I'm a lady. It depends on the situation. If they make less, usually. <laughs> but if uh, they don't, uh, if they don't, then no. It's difficult for men to be gold diggers, cause ain't it, ain't a lot of women that's out here really wanting to spend bread on on men. Unless you want to commit a relationship, then you ain't a gold digger. But if you out here honing around, you can't be a gold digger. It's it's mm. it's tough. Like chicks could really spend a bag on your food and kicks like that, but that ain't gold digging though. Women. Nigga, you a munch, huh? You don't got oh, any dog in the So, what's these, like, all right, let's say you women, got... Women, let's women. say you got Lil Jamal, right? Lil Jamal, that's Lil so... Jamal, that's so nigga. He may be handsome. He may be handsome. He may be fucking the shit out of this hoe. But he stay in her apartment, drive her woman, car. Woman, woman, woman. Not hoe, this woman. This woman, yeah. Bro, why we keep listening to the munch, nigga? Respect, respect. <laughs> you should respect yourself. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but anyway... We keep going. Stop listening to the so, munch. bro, that depends on the nigga, not the fuck. What the fuck? This got yo. This this is this is hazing written all over. Niggas made this nigga dress up like this for a fraternity. Gotta be. If this is nigga swag part himself, my brother, I ain't you feel me trying to get down on you. 
pause. The, the fit just threw me all the way off. Smooth 1950s paperboy vibe. 1940s paperboy vibe. Just exactly what this shit just gave. Uh, you just fucked me up with this one, Twin. And, you and fuck, matter of fact, you fucking the city up with this one. Wherever y'all at. We're not gold diggers. We just take what we get. They just ask for what they want. But niggas just... Computers playing in the background while this is going on is mad crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This take what they get. It's a whole different dynamic when you ask it for it and when you just receive it. Man, that's a wrap. Yo, man, shout out to my son, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Please and thank you, man. A lot of, lot of good content, man.